Welcome back, all my lethal people, to an absolutely juicy and lethal Kingdom Come Deliverance video. Now, you're probably wondering, Poppy, Poppy, wait, what happened? We weren't here last time. We saw on stream, we, you, we, you went crazy, buck wild with the priest. You're right. We got nasty with that priest and all the freakiness that he had going on. Hence why this is a recording now and not live. But also, if you all remember, shut up, Henry. If you all remember what happened, we got the game to crash by going two X games with the old priest. So that's why we're back. It kicked us back literally like two and a half hours. So I don't know if this video is going to be two and a half hours long, but we're certainly riding back into town. We're looking for the guy who has a limp in Ujits after we got done clearing out the last town and all the bad guys working with Ginger and finding out that he recognized a guy here who had a limp. Let's ride into town and let's see what's going on here. It's gonna get juicy. And also, thank you for popping in here. I appreciate you. So if you love this, make sure you like it. Maybe subscribe a little bit. Maybe comment. Tell me what you had for breakfast. I don't know. But at the same time, if you hate it, you let me know too. Just like St. Bernard or Sir Bernard, he does not like us. You gotta let us know, baby. But with all that yapping aside, welcome back, my people. Let's dive into this thing. Let's go, pebbles! Yeah. This is how you gotta ride a horse, by the way. All right. Ooh, okay. You know we're supposed to be riding through town here to take a look and see what's going on. Oh, who's this guy? It was a guard or someone walking in there. What are you doing in there, pal? Oh, look at that. There's a big old collection of people right there. Hello, fair townspeople. May I assist you? May I talk to you about your car's financial duty? Oh, his name was Limpy Lubosh. Yes, Limpy Lubosh. Oh. oh, here's Henry, the absolute Chad. citizens move along move along there's nothing to see here nothing that's what you call nothing to see i'd like to know what something to see looks like i agree with that guy by the keys of saint peter this is all i need we'll have to send word to sir hanush that might not be necessary who are you oh it's i'm me. henry of scallets in the service of hanush's captain bernard i'm investigating the attack at neuhoff and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhoff? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say he had a limp? Shit. Suspect! I'm to introduce you. To Limpy Lubosh. Or all that's left of him. Oh! Uh. Saint Peter! Sakra. <sighs> Nothing's ever easy. No. Nope. I'll have to take a look around and ask a few more questions. That's all right with you. Yep. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. Eh? But look and ask all you like. That's crazy. Hey, who, who was Lumpy Lubosh? Come on now. A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. 
He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. Why did he limp? How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhof raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk. So you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. Did he you have any cronies in the village? None. A loner he was. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. Okay. More about Lubosh. When was the body found? When, was when the did body you find found? the body? And did anyone see anything? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. Another thing about Lou Bosch. Okay. Hey. Good hey, Joseph. You. Good day to you. Can you tell me anything about Lou Bosch? I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know nothing about it, but... Ask all you want. Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? That man Lubosh who was murdered. What was he like? I didn't really know him. He kept to himself, even in the tavern. Hmm. Do you know what Lubosh was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I was coming from the tavern very late that night, and I caught a glimpse of someone entering the village. Okay. He looked like he was in a hurry. It was only a shadow against the sky, but after what happened... I wouldn't wonder. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Oh, come to think of it, he was in church yesterday. He was even talking to the priest and went to confession. I was wondering mm. what he was up to, to take to the faith all of a sudden. Okay. But I suppose no sin's too dark for God's mercy. Yeah. 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 Do you know anyone Lubosh used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? Not with anyone from the village. He used to sit in the tavern next to us sometimes, but he never said much. That's all. Thank you. Take care now. Take care. Let's go talk to the priest, but also let's go investigate a little bit, actually. What's this? Looks like someone's hit him very hard on the head. Could they have bludgeoned him to death and then gutted him? Mm. That would explain why he didn't scream. An inscription in blood. It's a pity I don't know how to read. Looks like they wanted to give someone a warning, but who? And a bandit who knows how to write isn't something you see every day. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, torso. Oh, above, they did a hell of a job on him. Must have been agony. How come no one heard anything? Gross. Gross. Um. Do you need anything? No, I don't actually. Just, just, just don't mind me. Let me just also eat from the pot. I guess we're all just taking from his house, right? What is going on? See you later, big pimpin. What would they do that for? God be with you. Another thing about Lou Bosch. Good luck to you. Okay, so I don't think there's more to discover here. So let's uh. Let's hop on the horse. Let's go talk to our guy, the friendly neighborhood. Well, that guy's not wearing any pants. It's gross. I oh, see. Playing this game makes me want to play Manor Lords, and Manor Lords would be really fun to get going back on a little juicy series. If you guys want to see any more city builder games like Anno, 
Ostrieve, Manor Lords, you let me know because, man, I love all of them. And I've been on a real big Crusader Kings kick. Man, this game is just like... I've just been getting my medieval kick recently, and I, I am just like little boy nerding out. All right. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Priest. How are you, Father Godwin? I like this guy's voice acting right here, too. The blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lyper, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did you know Lubosh? What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child. All sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubos don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. That's really not a lot of help to me, Father. I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, appreciate you, Father, for... Yeah, okay. Do you know what Lubos was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. What? I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers. There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity of the confessional. Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances. And this is one of them. For heaven's sake, Father, can you really look me in the eye and tell me that, when you know you may be condemning innocent people to death? I can. Because if I broke that vow, the consequences would be much worse than if I didn't. Maybe not immediately, but one day. The mills of God grind slowly. Father, Lubosch was my only lead to the Neuhoff raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Suppose we talk it over in the evening. In the tavern. Over a cup of good wine. Maybe we'll come up with something. All right. Oh yeah. Thank you, Father. God be with you. God be with you. Okay. All right, so let's go over to the tavern. The tavern, I believe, is just right here. Get out of work. You know, you walk about 30 steps over into your local tavern. How you doing? Keep it moving, baby. You guys don't mind if we just do a little time skip, right? I think this should be good. Oh, oh excuse me, lady. Dang. Hey, what's Blessings up, guys? Of our Lord be and with you, lad. Take a seat. Hey, what's up, guys? Talk to me. I'm sorry I can't tell you everything. But maybe we can work something out. But first, I'd like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? I'm from Scalitz. Oh, I'm sorry. What about your kin? They're, They're dead. dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. It was, it was terrible seemed so pointless we had no warning they just appeared and began the slaughter god knows why they killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle my parents my girl even the deutsch who was on sigismund's side i didn't make it to the castle i wanted to try and help my parents but there was nothing i could do then i fled to townberg with the cumans on my heels 
They almost One killed me. me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of a church in Rovna. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... they... My poor child. May God grant them eternal rest. And how did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch, Bernard. He did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujit, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well, congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. We'll have to drink to that. Now the most important thing. What actually happened at Noyo? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things, but I take most of it with a pinch of salt. This time, they weren't the exaggerating. Exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosch, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Dreadful. Well, Dreadful. Then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions, because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed... They won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. I I've reached a dead end. That means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats will strike again, and I can't stop them. Chin up, lad. I might have a solution. What? If I tell you what Lubos told me, I'd be betraying the confessional today. secret. But first thing tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help you. Word of honor? On my soul. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where is do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujits isn't Prague. It's not enough to instruct you. They have to be entertained, too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them in detail. A tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. And stories from real life with a nice moral to them are popular as well. Especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. Scandalous vices. Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague in the Czech language. And the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hoos is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm okay. thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hoos about Mother Church. The lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth. And they shamelessly profit from everything. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive fur. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor. Robbers. You are seen by God and his people too. Amen. Well, this Jan Hu's character is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. Funny. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation's completely different. Hooth preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor. Look at me. 
I don't have a pot to piss in. I know better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sasal Monastery. Um. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. I say that's ah, a good plan. That sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me <laughs> down. Henry is getting torched right now. Oh, my God. Oh. Enough of this. Bailiff, come on over here. Sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So, I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Men, throw them out. Oh. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! Oh my god, what the hell? Okay. God! Yeah! Miss. Ow! Yeah, I'm, we're jumping the bailiff. I, one thing about me, we jumped the bailiff. Oh my god, can we why are we at like a uh, what is happening? We got like a drunken lean. We're like this the whole time. What are we doing here? Oh, we're going up the bell tower? What the freaking heck? Does that mean we won the fight? Huh? Done? Watch the step, my dear. Careful, you don't hurt yourself. Godwin, you're Oh my gosh. Here we are. Look at this beauty. <laughs> we can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> 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 and now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening.
throwing up 17 times on the side of a bell tower. Oh my god. Come here. Oh, nice pants on there. What are you doing here, Henry? Oh, there's the tower. Oh my god. Oh no, this is what we were talking about. Say, Henry, shall we take a little ride of our own? Henry, think of the Lord. Henry, think of the Lord. Fight the temptation, son. It's all right. It's all right. All she was doing was helping him get a uh, get get a get a sore leg out of there. What the? Me. Oh my god. Me. Me. Well, I have to say that was a fine evening. Godwin, you beast! Get up! Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, fuck it out! Oh, oh, where the? Oh, what the? Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry, my great friend Henry. Oh. Didn't we have a wonderful time? Yeah. Well, you certainly oh. did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together, quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, Stefan in my head. Mm, my guts. My poor suffering stomach. Oh, what was that woman on about? Before my flock eats me alive. I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What <laughs> the fuck was it? Oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Ow! Oh, you're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. What? So, first I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. Then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Okay. Henry, look. Okay. What I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishops can have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it if you stopped gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're stark raving mad. I'm not. You're stark raving mad. Plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. How about this? If you help me with this. I'll tell you who Lubosh's cronies are. Oh my gosh. The confessional seal isn't the sacred anymore? The confessional seal isn't so sacred. Don't mock me. I won't give you a second chance. Okay. <sighs> Well, all right. I can't make any promises about what will happen. No, neither can I. 
What do you want me to do exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Christ almighty. Fine then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Okay. Let's get to it then. Oh, wow. All right. Huh? Hmm. Um, we not have any better pants? Okay. Shut up, Father Godwin. Come on, man. Uh. Uh. All right. Reputation loss. What do we do? sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Accepit Panem, in Sanctas, at Venerabiles, Amanus Suas. <clears throat> Hoc facite in meam commemorationem. Brothers and sisters, you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scalitz, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush to investigate that heinous crime at Neuhof. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University preaching. I've managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. Because, as you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So, Henry, you may begin. Now I'm curious. Curious which one of them will puke first. Oh. Begin sermon confidently. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I would um, uh, uh, I would like to talk to you about our Holy Mother Church and what iniquities it's declining into. That well wants to preach about the church. Um. Creation has given to every man the power by which he might rule the whole world. But 
That power does not give him the right to rule. That right belongs to God alone. <coughs> um, Honestly. It is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Uh, plague, humans, hunger, and, and, and chaos. And it is all due to um, Fa Why are we the corrupt failing? servants of God who do not practice what they preach. They think sins can be washed away by money. And they sell indulgences. And, and that, that's bad. Because sins cannot be redeemed with silver. Pratt didn't do much for his confidence. And what sins? They live with harlots and keep concubines, even though only marital intercourse for the purpose of procreation is pure. If someone takes a woman or man only to satisfy their own lust, who seduces them to do so but Satan? And how much darker the sin if that man is a servant of the church? Who can turn his face to God, who fornicates and then puts on priestly robes? Nothing we don't know about already. Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about, and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself were to pay? Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend to heaven? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Down with the prelates, away with them. We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin. At least he's a fair and simple man. Criticize debauched priests, including Godwin. Criticize the prelates, but stand up for Godwin. God sees what is happening on earth, and he is filled with righteous wrath that those who should seek the salvation of souls instead seek mammon and the idle comfort of lucrative posts. Blessed are the shepherds who share the poverty of their flock, who are as one with you and bear with you the burden of this earthly pilgrimage, who do not condemn your venial sins. Aye, all honour to Godwin. Let him drink like one of us. That is all I heard in Prague. Amen. Amen. Have you no shame, you pair of buffoons? I'll be writing to the bishop of this. For shame. Utterly blasphemous. Can you believe such behavior? For men of the cloth to get drunk at church. Oh, that's not good. We didn't we didn't do good. So, is our deal still on? Are you pulling my fucking pizzle? I couldn't have done worse myself if I'd puked on the altar. Well, I'm no preacher. Yeah, I noticed. And I wasn't the only one. You can't be serious. After all that. All what? All you making a complete hash of my sermon? You were supposed to help, not get me into even more trouble. Now I'll have the bishop on my back and all the villagers. Just leave. I need to pull myself together. And what am I supposed to do? Find someone else to help you. Oh, we messed up and we we screwed that up. Well, dang. Oh, man. What what are we supposed to do? What what was the What was the uh Uh
Okay, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go possibly talk to the town bailiff. Possibly also go take action and see what we can do about maybe going around and talking to more people in here. Oh, there's the bailiff right there. Let's talk with the bailiff. Hey, Mr. Bailiff, let me talk to you real quick, buddy. Hey there, guy. I don't I don't like that we messed that the up, I guess. What do you need? Godwin won't tell me who Lou Wash's cronies were. I've reached a complete standstill. Don't even mention that so-called priest. He knocked out one of my teeth yesterday, and you were there with him. I ought to clap you in the stocks. <laughs> I'll go willingly if you stick Godwin next to me. It'd be worth it just to see him suffer. I can well imagine. I've already told you, nobody came here to see him. But now it occurs to me. I did hear he was tried in Rate for some mischief or other. Maybe you can find out something there. The scribe might have made a record of it. Thanks, Bailiff. I never thought of that. And let me give you another piece of advice. Don't go boozing with Godwin again. Why? Why? Why can't we go boozing with our dude again, huh? Talk to the Rate scribe. Look through the Rate Black Chronicle for any record of Lubosh. Well, that sounds like a plan. Well, then, everybody, I think this episode can be a juicy little rapid fire one. I absolutely love it. And, you know, uh, our episodes normally for our playthroughs are like an hour, hour and a half, two hours. So, a little 40 some odd minute little how you doing, keep it moving. Partying with the priest and getting in trouble with the priest. Butchering a little freaking sermon talking about hot John Hoos of Prague who speaks in Czech Man, well a shame that we couldn't do it But man, what a lethal little episode and this is exactly where it Basically cut us off right at the beginning of the sermon So being able to see how that pans out and how badly we did it is awesome and Overall, I really do appreciate you all for watching. I know that hey you know, the videos are kind of crazy. We're all over the place. We got Silent Hill 2. We got Baldur's Gate 3, Persona 3, technically Fallout 3, technically Rainbow Six Siege. We got a lot of different games. Kingdom Come Deliverance right here. So it is very lethal. But you know who is more lethal than this? Every one of you watching. I appreciate you all. We also have had a ton of new subscribers coming in. I know we haven't had a ton more shorts and a lot of other things going up lately, but... I really do appreciate everybody who is joining us. We're like 2,600, 2,500 people. That is insane for me. I love that. So I appreciate you all for spending your time with me on these lethal videos and the live streams, all my shorts, and everywhere else. So stay amazing. I will see you all in the next lethal episode. Perhaps you'll see us live. If you enjoyed this little hecticness with the priests, leave a like, subscribe, go crazy. If you didn't like it, Tell me, remember, I want to know what you had for breakfast. You tell me in the comments. And lastly, and most importantly, tell someone you love that you love them. Drink some water and stay lethal, my people. I will see you all next time on another lethal episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Allah!